What's going on YouTube? Doing a little bit of packing right now. About to go up to Excel Drones and Fly. Had to change some of the PIDs on the Aurora because out of the box it just wouldn't fly right. So I got two charged batteries in there. I got my B90, which is actually they call them now the Hell Whoop. And I got my Space Whoop in this bag with some props. As you can see the Space Whoop right there. I gotta go and get a prop for it. Prop keep flying off. I don't know why. And I'm on YouTube checking out uh, Robert Killenberger's video. He's building a Hell Whoop. Props to him. He's got a pretty sweet looking uh, Hell Whoop that he's building. I like the way he built it. And they, uh, he's got that Hell Whoop frame from Excel. You guys can order one of those from ExcelDronesRC.com. They'll get that shipped right out to you. But I want to do some flying today, so I'm trying to get these boys all packed up. Here's a bunch of broken props. <laughs> I got my Tyrannus in my back, in my bag. I got an extra camera in my bag. I'm bringing my um, Team Associated short course truck. I'm going to try and stick a camera on it while I'm there and uh, do some FPV flying. Oh, it's time to go. We got one battery done on the charger. I know I should have charged them all up, but I was flying this morning. So we just hit the button like that. Set that over there on the side. We got another dug on battery charge, another lipo battery. Oh yeah, we ready to go. We just gotta charge up that Aurora battery. That one takes a long time to charge, so we'll take the charge battery. Probably put some uh, tape on the leads there. So that way nothing shorts out when traveling. Put a rubber band around it. It'll be good to go. Go ahead and take this Aurora battery. See if I can get this boy plugged in. Oh. Actually, I'm plugging in the wrong battery, but I wanted to plug in the Aurora battery, but these are one of those uh, 520 milliamp batteries I got from Excel Drones. We'll get out a quick... It takes about 10 minutes to charge on the uh, Duratrex Li24 charger. It's also a LiPo and a Li... those Li-Fi batteries. Um... This battery with my Hell Whoop, this is a 400 milliamp battery. I have not flown my Hell Whoop or my B90 with this 520. Hopefully, this 522 cell give me a little bit more power than this one. I will say I flew my Aurora, like the battery that comes with the Aurora. I don't, I believe. See, the Aurora 100, the new Aurora that just came out. The Aurora 100 has a 400 milliamp battery, but when I was unpacking this. I believe me and my friend said that it was a, a 700 milliamp battery and up there at Excel one of the guys I know it wasn't Jeff but one of the guys told me that it was a 700 milliamp battery I'm gonna have to check that go on banggood.com and look at it but I gotta buy a couple of these batteries because these two cell batteries will not power that Aurora to Aurora it goes as soon as I plug it up like not even a minute in the flight it's like 8.9 volts and then like you throttle up to do like a backflip or something and then your votes drop down to 6.9, you get back into hover mode, and the votes don't shoot up to 8 or 7, they still kind of drop down like 6, so then the drone like can't fly. Like it's weird, like I don't know if I have a battery problem. Like I said, I got another battery up here that I haven't even opened up yet. So I don't know if it's a battery problem, but today when I go fly today up there at Excel, I'm going to pop this battery in the B90, fly it around, and see what the deal is I mean my B my B90 flies with these all day long I have not like I said flown my Aurora with these I believe these are too low of the milliamps because I believe that Aurora is just a power hungry drone um, with the stock battery it it flies two three minutes I want to say I get about so yeah I think I might have to order some uh, Aurora batteries I mean these batteries are bigger but I don't know if this was a 700. I know the Aurora 100. When I watched a video, somebody had a Aurora 100, and um, the battery is a 450 milliamp. Now, I don't know why Banggood would change that. Same size battery. They look the same, but I don't know. Not for sure. Maybe this battery is just a little bit heavier than this battery, and it was giving me, you know, some. I don't know. First time flying, man. But these little micro drones, they're addicting. Super addicting. But that's my quick little vlog today on what I'm going to be doing today. Going to go up there. Got to go stop up at Sweet B. Go grab me some medicine. And then 
Gonna do a little bit of flying and then get my behind home so I can finish cleaning my house. <laughs> I also um, went to Nike and Hobby and uh, I picked up some like more paint and I picked up some little detailing stuff for the micro garage. So that way if we go over here in the micro garage, yeah, I haven't done anything since yesterday's video. But we go over here, I wanna, like I was saying, that checkerboard tape. I wanna go along the walls with the checkerboard tape maybe put another window in somewhere over there my buddy Dan he works at a metal shop he fabricated me like a little workbench all out of metal so we'll have that workbench over there the little wooden table thingy and then we'll have that workbench and then the metal one right there probably put a window where the metal one's gonna go but um tried to run some lights in my garage but when I ran the lights and I plugged it up to a 9 volt battery because I'm not that good at electrical plugged it up everything seemed to be good I hit the switch and then my switch started burning I mean maybe I had the wrong ground or something not too sure but that's my quick little vlog today I'm about to go stop up at Excel drone do a little bit of flying hopefully they have those crazy little hula hoop tunnels that I can fly through still up and running but alright you guys that's gonna be a quick vlog oh me just trying to get ready in the hobby room alright see you guys in the next video Peace, love, subscribe, God bless, always RC, and keep it up, you guys. Later.